what is going on guys it is your boy fly suey back at it with another one today's video we're going to show you some top arena tips that i use as someone who's hit 2k mmr to get successful and get those delicious slp rewards in arena if you like videos like this where i give you the tips and tricks on how you can have success in arena comment below let me know and i'll keep making these type of videos but for today's videos as you know guys i actually run a scholarship program right now we have 18 different scholars and one of the things that we do is me along with the team leaders is we go over our scholars videos and give them some tips and tricks that they can use to really improve their gameplay so strategies whether that's what they're doing right what they can improve on um, that's some things that really help so we're gonna watch a couple of my scholars videos and see how they're doing here okay so whose video want to watch first let's watch roxy so roxy is a new scholar i really want to watch the new scholars videos um especially to help them out oh i already got that running let's exit that and let's go roxy here okay and we'll go over his team by the way guys we are rocking out with a couple of people live on stream we're giving it to you live we're rocking out with ian in the building christine in the building of course we've got record we actually have two ians in the building let's go and of course ezekiel and emerson guys thank you for rocking with us um that being said we're gonna go over my scholars team so this is recortio he has a backline dust terminator 46 speed was the absolute dynasty last season some top mmr players had him he has the backdoor aqua with goda to deal to get rid of energy control the energy in the game dull grip blast through plants that pick up big shield and of course he can give you some of those poison ticks here and goes back to a shrimp and we have a beautiful plant here yam serious and the speed negative here going against a plants double aqua team very typical team very last season meta team he's around a thousand mmr to 1200 so the first thing i'll say about this game is i love his setup this is the ideal setup you want for 90 percent of lineups in axe infinity that's because if you go against teams that have double tanks in these areas you know exactly who you're gonna attack. So first round is round one. Um, Aquas need to save up energy to get rid of your plant. Knowing this, you can do two things here. One is you can use one pumpkin to draw a card. That's the card play I play, or you just pass. Let's see what he chooses here. Oh, I didn't even realize he had a vegetable, nice. So, this is a round one vegetable, steals an energy, great move. Um, great move, gets the poison off here. And then notice he does a pumpkin yam here. So what I would also could do is first round, you could use maybe one pumpkin. Um, you're gonna get the steal off. These guys are gonna wait till around round three or four to come attack. And let's see here what happens. So beautiful timing, to even times it better than me. Gets the poisons in the back axie. Now this guy is in big trouble right now. Absolutely big trouble. The one thing I say is you don't want to waste your mystic here. You don't want to waste them. Um, the reason you don't want to waste his mystic is this basically activate is, um, if you look at this shrimp card here, this backdoor garish shrimp card here, right? You need to activate the two poison ticks. You have to play it in a chain. What does a chain mean? It means when whenever another one of your axes uses a bug card, which is this is a bug card here. It doesn't tell you it's a bug card. I know it's pretty bad, but you can tell from like the red banner in the title that's a bug card. Um, that lets you activate the poison. Without it, your poison won't activate, which is kind of like the whole point of Garish is the poison. So goes back door here, um, not a bad move. You'll probably want to use dull grip first though, just in case he puts up any shield you'll blast through and then finish off with um, Goda. Would have been better is if you had your mystic, you could put another poison tick on him, get him out the ball game, but still learning those cards. Now remember, this is actually one of his first days playing. He just got the team like two days ago. So 
still new at it. Oh, he had another mystic. Okay, so he definitely should have used those poison ticks there. Um, gives this guy a little bit of mercy. Maybe even use Garish and Gota because that way you can save Dolgrip for this front guy here. But let's see. Basically, what you want to do here is you want to put yourself in a position so this guy gets a one on one with this guy here. You match up very good one on one, but now you're in a situation where. Okay, you're able to get rid of the plant. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. Ian says so many poisons. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely poisons everywhere. So right here, honestly, I would just use a Gota. He probably wants to pass or go all out here. Um, I guess he did have enough energy to do some serious damage to you, though. That's the only thing. Like, this guy is very vulnerable because, of course, these two are faster. So maybe not a Gota. Allergic's a fine move, though. Even a pass is honestly fine there as well. Now, this is a completely risky move right here, but it looks like the opponent has completely given up. They've lost all hope. They don't believe in themselves because they're not even playing. And Ronxy gets the win here. So overall, phenomenal game. There's a couple of things that he can do to really solidify the win, especially as it goes higher up. But it's great to see him really get used to his team already. I like it. Christine says if he put barbs on him, that's the end of the opponent's back line. Exactly. That poison is so deadly. So right now we're at top 10,000 in the game, 2,150. Um, hopefully we're able to get, I anticipate we'll get at least three to four more scholars. One Right now we have two scholars at 2K MMR. Hopefully we're looking at a three to four more of them up there, but that will depend on whether team upgrades, more games, 40 energy, things that like that. So right now we're searching through my scholars to see which ones are really getting good in the game here. Now we're gonna watch one of our scholars here. This scholar has probably been playing the game for like three weeks, four weeks maybe. Um, has more of a non-conventional team, but nonetheless a team that can do some damage. So he has a back beast, Ronin, hair, nutcracker, the head bomb for the outplays and 43 speed. Gotta love it. The mid lane, so very typical to the Aqua you just saw, 47 speed with Crocs to slow them down and Cool Breeze to get rid of the Aquas, to get rid of the birds. Awesome, awesome. And even better, we have your attack damage plant. So this is almost like a discount disabler, but has the water can for those Aqua teams. And all of a sudden this guy looks very nervous. So you have your plant here in the front, 31 speed, very atypical midliner that can put up some shield and very almost meta aqua. This card is useless on the aqua because aqua is so fast, but nonetheless, that's why they buffed it because if you are a fast um, Axie, it's basically a useless card. So let's see what happens here. Right off the bat, perfect move. You burst right through the plant. And the only reason the plant's alive, 59 morale, still super high morale. Phenomenal way to start, though. So I didn't expect him to attack here with the Aqua, so very interesting. Goes for the all-out attack. I guess he expected him to try to burst his plant there, so he thought he'd get a free shot at him. But right here, this is literally double water and can disguise and you can use spicy just for the um extra shield here as well you're gonna have to be energied out your mind and you basically won end game here and that's exactly what he does oh only one water and can okay i don't i don't mind it i don't mind it he didn't need the, the double disguise here that's kind of energy overkill <laughs> uh you'll probably want to go for damage here um yeah, I would have liked to see a spicy or a chomp because you're going to at least get one energy from disguise. And if he hits you, you'll have even more energy. 
Um, and now you can't use your chomp combo, I don't think. Yeah, you can't use your chomp combo here, so, ah. So this is a situation you probably wanted to use go to here as well and just go all out. No reason to have mercy on him. <laughs> so what's good is this guy doesn't have goldfish, so we can't speed up, which is always a good thing. And now you're in a situation where you're just you're just going to take him right here. Not much you can do here. Slow him down. Dota. Gotta love it. And that's the ball game. So overall, very nice move. The only thing was possibly that chomp situation, but he was in a, such a strong dominate position that whole game that honestly, <laughs> there was nothing the opponent could do there. Um, so the thing, I like that team because it has a lot of burst damage. I wish there were some zero cards um, out there just so you could have some nuance in the back end of the game. But overall, I really like that build for how unconventional it is. And there is a chance to get to 1400, 1500 MMR with it. Ramsey says, yo, Stewie, how are you doing? Ramsey, I actually just, wait, is that Rapid Ramsey? Yo, what is up? I am chilling like a $30 million villain. And let's watch one more game. Actually, let's watch two more games on stream. Um, this is another one of our newer scholars here. We're gonna check out her game here and see what she can do here. So I hope from watching this game, you guys on YouTube, you can see little nuances of when to play which cards, um, what, how to kind of fix your strategy, especially if you're a newer player and you're around at 800 to 1000 or 1200 MMR. Um, there's a couple common mistakes that newer players make and this is a great way to really fix them. Ian says, nice time for an aqua stock. Oh yeah, that was, gorgeous aqua stock timing also if you guys are on youtube make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because of course that is how we grow and that is how we get bigger guys all right so let's see here so this is the scholar our, was it the 20th scholar actually jesus i so much scholars we're losing track now <laughs> 46 speed dust turn me in the back jumping shrimp in the middle midline and a little bit of unconventional fast zigzag so 37 speed you don't have serious so it doesn't really matter but you do have prickling you kind of want to be slower but once the, the thought is once the plant is down the prickling is going to do an insane amount of damage to their midline um you're going against a guy with water can and arco oh my gosh um this is a pretty good axie honestly this is a pretty good axie 34 speed a little suspect but still um, I wouldn't want to go near it's one that looks like a Floraxi, but I can see why they picked it up uh, Oliver young var says your scholar is on the right side. Yep. This is the scholar on the right side Sometimes when you're doing replays it shows you on the right instead of the left So the midline has water stock again water stock on the midline not too much of a fan, but So this midline actually can put a ton of shield up give a bunch of damage here has some healing capabilities, but it is a bird, right? Is this a bird? Yeah, I think this is a bird. And this guy was spike throw. So notice here, he doesn't have zero cost. So the Terminator is definitely in a good position. Uh, the strategy here is this guy can do some good damage to you. So you probably want to use all of your plant cards early whenever you see spike throw and then start to finish the game with these guys here. So let's see what happens here. So notice they both skipped round one. This guy goes to take out the tank here. And you, one of the things you have to remember here is she had a bunch of plant cards here, didn't play them. Um, she probably wanted to at least use the double mints, maybe double prickling traps here, just to give yourself some defense. That way you can't die. It's very important to keep track of your opponent's count on round two, if they pass, they have five energy and your plant's actually very vulnerable in that situation. So you don't want your plant to go down in round two, puts you in a very tough situation. So she still has five energy, decided to use 
the mystic here and she has the opportunity to probably take this guy out you don't have a poison team but you do have a very strong team so let's see what she does here she goes with her highest damage attack now remember when you have this card here um oh, it won't let me click but this card here basically ends the opponent's last stand so you want to use it last and as you see here the opponent's in last stand that's why you want to use that thing last gets the energy stolen here um unfortunate but not much you can do and now she's in a tough situation because she's not a team that can actually um take out plants here so because this guy has water and stock here this is basically the game changer of the game water and stock when an aqua team attacks you when an aqua person attacks you you actually they actually gain energy from it so because of that you definitely want to watch out for that and not use it amanda Roo says yes sir i that i always watch your stream so i can learn more that's my dude right there aliyah lay says yo hey is that y'all fudge in the building hey y'all fudge out here representing the scholars and christine says shuriken should be last exactly christine and now let's get a different song in guys if we have y'all fudge in the building we got to play some y'all fudge type music and right here this is where the game really takes a turn for the worse she uses her aqua cards here to hit the plant the plant gains the energy this is very unfortunate and now look at the energy swing we got five to zero so one of the things as a new player is it's hard to learn the other team's uh, uh, cards as fast. So what I would say is, as soon as you're done playing your cards, I wouldn't be so quick to press end turn. I would instead go to my opponent's cards, read them, understand what all of them do. And that way, the next thing you wanna do is identify the threat. That's probably the best way to go about um, this team because right now, five, six energy basically to two. There is nothing she can really do to get back in this game. Now, the good thing is the Terminator matches up very well with them. So she still has a chance to come back. Um, no reason, though, to to um, <laughs> no real reason to use your mystic right there. But let's see what she does. Now, this is a very good combo here. Because notice how she went through the shield here because she put Chomp first. So that's a very good combo. Gets rid of the plant, which is a big threat at this time. And this is probably the right move. Again, you don't need to use your Mystic there. Um, you're f oh, I guess this guy is faster. Never mind. Mystic was the right move. And then right here, you know he's going to come with some heat. You know he's going to come with some damage. The best thing to really do here, oh, it's tough. It's really tough. He can put up a lot of shields. So what I would do is sticky mystic because right now you need to get up to his energy level. Showing 60 shield will throw him off. So that's probably the best option. Oh, you did get some more cards. So maybe sticky mystic chomp. Ah, uh, it goes for damage. So. The Terminator has two choices. You can either go for damage or go for defense. This is a time in the game where you probably want to start going for defense more. Christine says, wow, the Aqua Stock really game changed your opponent can stock energy as much as 10 out of 10 when battling a double Aqua plant. That is right, Christine. It's really the double Aqua's worst enemy. So right here, this move right here, Kestrel, if you didn't know, it disables your horn card. If you didn't know what your horn card is, it is this card. Whatever card is in this slot is your horn card. You can see the mystic right there in the picture. Um, so now she's gonna be in a situation where she can't use chomp combos because of that Kestrel. Very tough situation to be in. So did some good damage here slowed them down a bit but now she's in a situation where she can't use too much energy the most she can do again you're in a very tough situation this person has a lot of energy not much you can do here um the only thing is you can play to crit jesus that you survive this but one stick of you but is the only thing you can do and try to get the timing down so uses allergic 
sticky again you got to see that massive shield coming you know this isn't going to do much <laughs> now this is a part where you can actually still win remember this person has no zero cost cards the problem is you can't slow them down and you used up another energy you need three energy for your chomp combo um so you're in a very tough situation here and you know they're just gonna keep kestrelling you to death she definitely did a great move here by putting up her most defense but to no avail so this game was actually within winnable's um when it's within winnable distance even though it was very tough there's just a couple of moves here the hardest thing for newer players is energy management no one went to pass no one went to play but of course as amanda plays more games she will be right there but guys if you like videos like this and you want to see more let me know in the comments below i'm gonna keep rocking on twitch of course we do this live every tuesday and saturday so make sure you subscribe for more but flight crew guess what we gotta take off but we will see you next time like comment subscribe do it all Peace.